Hi Taurus, uh, I'm sorry these readings are a bit late, I know I'm meant to have them all done ready for new moon, uh, I've not been feeling too well, um, just bad headaches, migraines, uh, but I'm feeling better today so I'm just going to get them all done, done and dusted, so I'm going to start off with your spiritual tarot for Taurus, so the situation spiritually for Taurus is patience and planning, so the number seven, so patience and planning. So the situation is we need to be patient or allow something to plan out, you know, don't be rushing in. Uh, the challenge, challenge for Taurus, for prosperity to begin. So the, the challenge is to plant the seed. And that's why you need to be patient because you're bringing something to fruition. You need so you need to be patient. Let it allow it to grow naturally. Allow it. You, you know, don't keep putting a time limit on something. You know, whether this is you're waiting on a new partnership, you know, and you want to be patient, even if it's about fertility, you know, and you're wanting that seed to be planted. Be patient because we block a lot of things sometimes by keep thinking about them. So there's a lot of patience in this reading. Let something develop naturally. Don't rush in. Like allow something to come to fruition naturally. So why is this coming around now? Why is this coming around now? Taurus. Sacral chakra, yeah, I do feel it's something to do with a partnership then. So if you're a single Taurus um, and you're wanting this relationship, you're wanting to plant a seed to start off a new relationship, I feel like you need to be patient and stop. I feel like you're blocking someone coming in because it's doing circle chakra. You know, you need to go with the flow. Let it come in on its own. You know, let it come in with divine, divine guard time, divine timing. But it, it could definitely be pregnancy as well, with being sacral chakra, because it's like your womb, your sexual organs, that deals with relationships as well, though. So, recent past, we've got balance. So, we've got, you know, we're feeling balanced, but I feel like. Now you're wanting to rush into the next venture, the next relationship. Like you've gained some kind of balance, but now it's like, what's next? What's next? I've done that, you know, and you're ready. You are ready, but the divine is saying, just be patient. And they're planning this, you know, for something to come into fruition. Yeah. So in your reading, we've got 11, 1, 1. We've got 11, 11 already. So there is a wish coming true you just need to be patient and allow the divine to sort it so at present taurus there's a lot of self-love there's a lot of you your heart is burning with passion for something you're wanting to bring something passionate in i'm feeling a lot of passion in your reading <laughs> like maybe sexual tension um yeah So, near future, rest and rejuvenate for us. So, it could be, th this person could be coming in around New Year. Uh, if it's manifest, or if it's manifesting a pregnancy, a New Year. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking for the next four, you just need to just chill. Just let just let it come in as and when. New Year will be good. We've got an 11-11 coming. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think, four week or... No, it's not four weeks till the 11th of the 11th, but just chill out. Let it come into fruition on its own. Your power in this situation is positive movement forward. You know, eight, we get, everyone keeps getting eights today. And eights to me is the karmic number. So you go from the low vibration to the high vibration. Chill. You know, I know in the other, in the other card decks that usually goes from rough waters to smooth waters but i'm just seeing just like chilling in the sunset type of thing just chill out it's coming your power is just to sit back chill positive movement forward concentrate on the movement forward stop manifesting what you want to bring in stop putting it out there you know 
Stop putting it out there with your thoughts. Plant the seeds. And then be patient. Put it out there. Yeah, I'm ready for love. And then forget about it and go and live your life. Let it come in. Don't keep looking for it. If there's any Tauruses on a million dating sites, get off them. <laughs> don't, you don't need to look for love. Love comes in. I feel like I need to say that to someone. Um, outside influences. Heartache and loss. So, yeah, it, outside influences. It, past relationships. So, I feel like there's been a heartache and loss. And you've kind of restored balance. And now you... You want to jump back in. You feel like you're ready for the next adventure within relationships. But your spiritual tarot is saying you're not ready just yet. You know what I mean? You're manifesting it, but just be patient. Just be patient. It's co It will come. In divine right time and it'll come. Because even though you feel that you're fully healed, you're not. You're still carrying shit from the past. But you are balanced, do you know what I mean? Just allow it to, allow the seeds, allow the divine to plant the seeds for you. Hope so, fears. Yeah, listening to the divine because you might be getting a bit bored at a minute. We've got the shitty horse room. You might be getting a bit bored. But the divine is saying, you know, we are guiding you towards, we are, you know, the rainbows, the happy rainbows. We're guiding you. Don't think we've forgotten about you. You know, you're not forgotten about. You're not put on the shelf. <laughs> I want to say that to someone. <laughs> you're not been put on the shelf. Near future. Suffering in silence. So, <laughs> you need to get out of your head. And, uh, you know, otherwise you're going to end up manifesting this. But there's, got, there's options there in which way to go forward. So, I want to get one more on suffering in silence. Deception and envy. This is what I'm saying. So I feel like you've been hurt in love in the past. And if you dive into a relationship now, you're just going to end up reliving that cycle, going back into that eight, going back into that low vibration. Do you know what I mean? So it could be that you're feeling sexually frustrated and you're bored and you want a bit of passion in your life. And I kind of want to say, don't, please don't wait have patience you know concentrate on yourself let the seed be planted naturally you know let let this because the roots are the seeds already planted you've just got to trust that it's coming do you know what i mean otherwise you, you're going to bring self-administered hurt upon yourself again you, you need to seriously like take some time out for yourself otherwise you, you're going to end up hurt again and I don't like saying that to someone, but please don't don't rush in, don't jump into an actual into a relationship really quick. Just be patient, be patient because there's there's good coming. We've got the eleven eleven. Trust in the divine. Don't don't jump in, don't jump in. Just be patient. You've still got some healing today spiritually. See your angel cards. I feel like it's just boredom, and that's what's pushing you that way. Maybe you need to find something else to release that relieve that boredom like you know or put yourself into it you don't need another person to make you feel whole and in that reading it just felt like i you were calling out for that person but we need to focus on us and i'm double taurus i'm taurus moon i'm gemini sun taurus moon uh gemini rising taurus venus so this definitely resonates with me, love-wise. I, I, I need to stay on my own for a little bit. I, you, well, not for a little bit. I don't know how long. Could be the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, so not ready. So, situation, King of Earth. That's good. In your energy. So, Taurus, you need the situation, the King of Earth, or you need to get into your energy. You're the Earth sign. A successful time, confidently accept opportunities that you're offered. The Midas touch. So that things are good. I think you need to focus on work as well. Generous, professional, the king of earth. It's about money. It's about manifesting money and things, material. So the challenge to that. Two minutes. The challenge to the king of earth. Is ego. Yeah. So a false sense of entrapment, negative or fear-based thoughts. So some of my 
Taurus is this could go two ways. It's either in love, ego's telling oh no one's coming, there's not gonna be any opportunities, uh type of thing. I need to go and find find them type thing. Rip that mask off. The divine are telling you, pull that mask off. There is opportunities coming in. That's the situation. There is opportunities coming in. But I I think it's more you need to get yourself stable, get back in your own earth energy. I do feel like this is towards relationships and work, though. Why is this coming around? Five of air. Ugh. So, it's coming around because of unwise choices. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. So... If this is business, if this is like to do with money and stuff like that, you need to use your earth sign logically. You you need to, uh, you know, check what's going on around you. I kind of get gossip. I don't know why I'm picking up on gossip. Or maybe this is five of swords, like it's five of swords. So it's like wanting to be one up. Like your ego wants to be one up on whoever's hurt you. Maybe that's why. Do you want to jump into a relationship just to piss your ex off? Is this your own motives? You know, I can move on quicker than you type of thing. Because it'll backfire. It'll backfire. And if someone's doing that to you, believe me, it'll backfire on them as well. That's on saying. Recent past, Queen of Air. So yeah, you, recent past, you you have cut something out, Queen of Air, independent, uh, objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer served you. you. You know, so you've cut something out. <coughs> Why is it coming around? You learnt a lot in this situation but they want you to be successful with the king of earth they want you to stand in your power got a lot of air energy here so it's like you're totally out of the element because you're overthinking um but it's your ego it's a false sense of entrapment negative or fear-based thoughts oh i'm always going to be on my own no one will want me or if it's money wise might be my age you know and stuff like that like putting yourself down because of your ego. I feel like you've escaped a situation, if I'm honest. Now it's time to sit back and learn what you can from that situation. It was just an unwise choice. But maybe now you need to start reviewing everyone's motives. Present. The Ten of Air. So I feel this could have been a karmic connection. Like, you felt addicted to it. Whoever this person is, it's just... It's, you know... They could have had addictions that were affecting you mentally. Do you know what I mean? It's ten of air, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovery from addiction. So, they could have, they could have had addictions that were affecting you and you, you needed to escape. You needed to get away. But it's like, now you're on your own, I feel like you're starting to go into ego mode of, like, self-doubt, like, no one's ever going to want me. Maybe you need to look at your own motives as why of why you're looking for love. Are you looking for love because you're ready for love, or are you looking for love because you can't be on your own? There's something to think about. There would be a lesson learned in that. Near future. No, near future, you, you step into your power. I feel like you just need to like evaluate yourself. Spend some time being independent. Um, and congratulate yourself for getting out of this difficult situation. You need to embrace the change, and change is hard. A lot of people find change hard. 
But the situation is the King of Earth, successful time, confidently accepts of an opportunity offered. The universe is offering you an opportunity of escape here. And the near future is the Ten of Earth. A very happy family life, financial security, finding the magic in the little things in life. You know, so it's been happy. So if you're a single mum now and you sat there with your kids, you know what I mean? You'd be able to find the magic in life, you know, financial, you know, don't be worried about stuff like that. I could be speaking to someone who's come out of an abusive relationship. I'm not feeling physical as much. I'm feeling more mentally. I'm feeling that this person had addictions or like narcissistic tendencies. Could have had a nasty tongue when drunk. Do you know what I mean? And it, and it's kind of kicked your e egos like totally took over. You feel like you're not worthy. I feel like that's why you review. You need to review your own motives as why you want love. There's a lot of lessons here. I'm seeing recovery. Very much like the Leo reading, if I'm honest. But, near future, you do step back into your own power. You get out of your head. Your power in this situation, not of earth, earth. Time to buckle down and get things done on your commitment. A guardian angel. Do you know what I mean? So, it's that spirit of saying that they're giving you a guardian angel. Angel, it's time to buckle down and get things done. It's time to do the self-work now. It's time to recover. Your commitments are to yourself. You need to be committed to yourself. It's time to recover. Outside influencers, king of water, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So if you need to reach out, if you're feeling down and you need to reach out, for counselling or to a friend, someone you can be who's trustworthy um, and compassionate, you know, it could also be like a, a charity. Do you know what I mean? I know in my local area in Berlin, this is on YouTube, like, but in my local area, uh, there is a charity called PH7 Wellbeing, and I think what they do is absolutely amazing, you know, and it is charity funded and they do help people in these situations. There's also the Freedom Programme, uh, and I know that is, like, UK-wide for people who are coming out of abusive situations. Um, you know, but P if you are local to me and you are struggling, PH7 do nights where they are for females only or for males only and stuff like that. But I feel like, outside influences, I feel like you... You need to step out of your comfort zone and ask for someone. I feel like there's help in this recovery. You're going into recovery from a past experience. You know, like we've got the the devil energy here with ego. So I feel like you need... There's an helping hand there that's coming out to offer you help in recovery. Yeah, because your hopes and fears, you want balance restored. Uh, the need for balance. Uh cooperation and compromise wait for perfect timing and if i'm going back to love as well don't dive in wait for the perfect timing because you, you've got a lot of self-healing and recovery coming up in your reading but i do like it two minutes you're just on the road to recovery near future queen of fire Con <laughs> Uh, regaining that confidence again. Stretch wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So it's gaining that confidence again. I feel like you need to ask for help. Um, whether that be a friend, a charity, organisation, do the doctors, to, you know, towards counselling or anything like that. Um, I feel like you need to... Outside, outside factors is there is help out there that can help you with this recovery. And I feel like that's why I'm saying, like, don't rush in to a next relationship. So your empowerment cards. Empowerment cards for Taurus, the situation. Yeah, I mean, it, you're totally drained. You know, you've been drained. I am, I am seriously picking up narcissistic behaviour on this. 
Um, and it's drained you dry. That's the situation. Uh, the challenge to this drained energy. The challenge now. The challenge is abandoned and lonely. See, I feel like you've got out of a situation or someone's left you and now you're needing to recover from this situation. But that's a good card because... These people are toxic. These people aren't, they don't serve your higher good. The hand of the divine is saying, let us guide you to the people that can help you. Let us guide you to the person that will light up your life in the future. You're not ready for love to share. So this thing obviously isn't going to be for all Tauruses. Uh, do you know what I mean? But I do feel like you're on the road to recovery. You're not, you're not abandoned. You, you're not, you're not lonely either. Why is this coming around now? Ooh. You're bit, yeah. So if it is love that you want and you will get it eventually. There's someone there in that in that light. You just you're just not ready for it yet. You're not there yet. So why is it coming around? Because this is gardens. But this is like self discovery. So on this journey here, you've got the lantern. So you're learning all about yourself. You know, you're moving away from this drained energy. So you, you can light up the darker areas. You're being led towards someone. The hand of the divine is light, leading you towards someone who can bring light into your life. So d don't think you've been put on the shelf. Don't think you're going to be forgotten about. Because there's someone out there for you. You just need to work on yourself at the minute. Recent past, yeah. You've had your heart broken. You've been hurt. Um... You know, we've got a couple shouting at each other here. I feel like that, that's what we need to recover from. Past heartbreaks. Because if you jump into a relationship now, you're just going to relive the... You're just going to take the old energy straight into this new one. It'll never work. Yeah, at present, your power... Your soul, sisters, your soul family, your own family. Go out and have fun. You know, let your hair down. Focus on you. You know, your friends, let your friends help you. Near future. Near future for my sources. Near future. Divine protection. You're being protected now. So if this was an abusive relationship, it ain't yet you ain't going back. You're being divinely protected. So near future, you will be divinely protected. So this person will bring light into your life. You won't need to be on guard with this person. And that's why I feel like you need to do this that road of recovery so that you you don't take this energy into that relationship uh, because then we'll end up being in this toxic cycle again. So they're leading you towards a better a better relationship. If they, well, partnership. Let's say partnership. I hate relationships. Um, you're being guided, so this is turning into more of a love reading, but more recovery. So you're powering the situation, secret keeper. You can tell the bullshit now. Uh, motives, uh, storytellers from the truth tellers. So you're powering the situation, as you've probably been lied to a lot in the past. You know, you they could have messed around, um, or they could have messed with your head. Do you know what I mean? Had you thinking, I'm going mental here, you know, the, saying that I've said this and I've not said it. And a narcissist actually is so good at doing that. I feel like you've been around uh, like narcissistic, narcissistic behaviour and you need to recover from that. Outside influences to this power. Yeah, the ruins, you need to leave the past where it is in the past. The tower, burn that shit down, go, you know, grow, self-growth. So you've been like dragged to the ground. You've been pulled down by this heartbreak, this hurt, this, this personal situation. They've totally drained you dry. But look, there's a seedling there. It's been fed by the light. That's the outside influence. You've got a brand new fresh start. You can't. Re this can't be rebuilt. There's no point not trying to build with bricks and mortar. Go for the natural. You need to put this natural energy into you now. Definitely recover her. Definitely recover her. Hope so fears. The devil energy. The temptation. So it's like, I, th I feel like you could fear the temptation of going back into this toxic cycle. Um, you know, and 
that's just a fear don't don't let ego me if this person's coming back with kind of communication you'll never find anyone again or they try and come back and that it's like i want to like you know seriously stay the hell away don't go back just because you feel lonely it's no yeah your outcome is you learn the lesson she's chilling out she's sat there on her own she's doing her own research she could be journaling you know she could be sitting there and contemplating what she's been through and now she can relax and she, she's chilled there sat under the tree just chilling out this is that major toxic toxic energy and there's a need to empower yourself you will gain love but you need to learn how to love yourself first so i'll leave you with that taurus i hope that does help someone out there though that were a bit harsh but if you feel that law reach out for help your friends family counseling services your doctor anybody just reach out okay much love thank you bye